And I understand that you're saying that you should call law enforcement. We call law enforcement. For one thing, we're 45 minutes to an hour away from Hamlin. And on the other occasions, I know that the law enforcement in our county, they have limited resources. No one has shown up. By the time they come out, the people who have thrown all their beer cans out or who have been out on their four-wheelers at 2 o'clock in the morning on the top of that ridge screaming and hollering as loud as they could, waking my 10-year-old daughter up at night, the police, they're long gone before the police could ever even get there. Like I said, I drive in and out of there every day. I'm by myself, and I'm in the process of looking into a concealed weapons permit. It's to that point. There are very narrow stretches of that road that my 10-year-old daughter and I drive every day, well, as I said, well before daylight, well after dark. There are places where there are cars literally in the road with four guys out with their beer cans all over the road. They're unable to stand up, and they're trying to flag us down to help them. There's no cell phone signal in that area. And I don't know how those of you who feel about your wives and your children, but you, would you want them in a position where they are on a road where they're, one, unable to turn around, two, unable to call for help, and faced with <coughs> five, six men in a truck, completely drunk, just in the last two weeks, going out to work one morning, about 6 o'clock in the morning, there's a truck partially over the road with beer cans, I'm assuming, from them opening the door that fell out of the truck all over the place trying to flag people down to, so they can have someone caught, take them back, I assume, to their home to call for towing service. I'm sorry, I have no problem with landowners coming in there. I know for a fact that no one who owns property or who wishes to travel to those cemeteries has ever been denied access. Our problem is with the fact that I get up at 4.30 every morning and when I'm out on my front porch at 2 o'clock at night trying to get the dog to be quiet because people are out there drinking beer and screaming, like I said, screaming and yelling and hooping it up, having a big party, and I have to get up in two hours. That is our problem. It's not that we want to deny anyone access to that road, but there is an element of lawlessness that far back. Right. That really? is a crime shame, and I'm not pointing a finger at law enforcement in Lincoln County because I know they're doing a fine job and they're doing the best they can with the resources that they have. But for those of you who live in that area, I would like for you to think about that for a minute and think about how often at night at 2 o'clock in the morning do you have someone out within three, 400 feet of your house having a big party. And I'm talking not on the weekend, just on the weekends. I'm talking school nights, any night of the week. Or you're out driving and here is a car partially over the road with some guy so intoxicating he can't even stand up trying to get you to stop. Well, do you think that if, I know we are very limited on resources, but I guess if you target the dead area, would that make any difference if, if the sheriff could target you? I area? don't know that there would be enough law enforcement to continuously merit patrolling one hollow. All he had to do was simply open the gate and let him through, but but uh, Bubby Tony uh, took it up on himself to take the gun to it. And wh what are we supposed to do? We live there. We uh, we should be able to travel that road because we got people that live, uh, is buried out there at that cemetery. And what if uh, get a brush fire out there? Everything's going to burn up on the at the graveyard because we can't get those trucks through that gate. Okay, and not only that. Uh, that's my grandpa's proper. <laughs> that he has got now that is in seeing distance of the where he's got the gate and I'm the one he was talking uh, my wife was talking about it uh, uh, had a gun brought a gun down there and took me out there made me leave uh, all my family has lived there around that area all my life I'm 52 years old and the gate the road has never been closed right. as long as I've known of. <laughs> I know of 52 years the road has been open. It's been closed one time when he closed it probably for six months, a year. I'm not sure how long it was. But anyway, it got opened back up. I never heard all the details of how it got opened back up. But I was tickled to death when it did get opened up. But I'm like them. The cemetery, my mother's buried there. My brothers, uh, my mother, my aunts, my uncles, my whole family. My whole family that's dead is in that cemetery. And that road that he blocks is fair access to it at any time. But the road that everybody else is talking about, 
It's not this wide. You can't get just anything in there. Yeah, I've been seeing that. Yeah. May I say something? Yes. Uh, my granddad was born and raised on Peabine Mall. And his name is John Sinclair Cummings. Uh, he had several sisters and brothers, and um, they, they raised their family up there, and they owned quite a bit of property. And the property was divided to my part, to my about 50 some acres to my granddad and his brothers and sisters. Uh, since then, they all passed, and it's been handed down to uh, their kids and their grandchildren. My mother um, inherited granddad, my granddad's property. <coughs> and I know, and I understand her position and the losses <coughs> that is taking place. But then we have our situation too. The property is ours and we should have access to our property when we need to be up there, even if it is five times a year. We need to do, we need to have access to that. Now, my mother, we always take her up there. That is part of our, our family tradition, and we always go in September, and she's 88. She's not going to have very many more years to go. And I just beg you to not close the road to where our family can get up there. And we go more than just one time. We go several times during the year. As, as we listen to the objections to it, is there any way, that, that, is there any advantage of having the road closed if everybody had key access? Would there be advantage for that? I mean, I mean he, he closed. He, he closed it and didn't tell none of us. I'm just saying, oh, but and I understand what they're coming from, and I'd feel the same way. I, I grew up in a city <coughs> where the roads was closed and it was crime all over the place. And you call the law, and that usually came. And you don't take law in your own hands. But I think as neighbors, there's got to be a solution. We shouldn't have went to the county commission. We should have been handling ourselves. Uh, try to help out the Tonys because they're there, kind of really know what's going up and down there most of the time because they live there. This lady's back and forth. But there, there's, a, there's a problem and it's ain't, if you shut the road off, I have no access to get well, to it. I, I and we can't take care of her problem with all them riffraff back in there. Well, it, it, I guess so, I just think if I heard her speak yeah. that, uh, that if there's some way that, that uh, we could reach a solution or that uh, we'd have the property protected from people who don't have reason to be on that property. Whether it be looters or drinkers or whatever. Well, if she, if she, if you lock the, the if you, uh, I guess, close the road off, quote unquote. Uh, my mom's down at the state office or the uh, road commission down there, and about every three years they're coming up there grading before the, the county or the uh, gas company came up and did that little job that they did. Uh, but will it ever be maintained if we should put a gate on it? Well, that's something. If it ain't maintained, no. Heck with the right. gate. But I can't get up there in five years with a billy goat or a four-wheeler. I need to get a truck and tractors and, and what we need to get up. Because that's the closest way off Mud River, the, the, the best road to come in from coming from P. Ridge. Cause well, I don't think it it's, it's rough. Uh, has really, you know, authority lies here in right. closed roads. But if there's objections that are reasonable for safety and whatever, and the fire, that, that, you know. that wouldn't be something this commission would do. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to think if there's some way to make it work for everybody. So, I just, um, that's, that's my brother, it's my mind. We're